Rabbit, this is Sylvation representing to you right in Fallout 4. We are in Covenant and um Yeah, wait a second, my phone is talking to me. Because uh, what? I don't know what it meant by that, but never mind. Um Yeah, we're in Covenant, we, we will want to do what exactly? <laughs> Um, it's been an entirety of full of two days and I've got, I'm going to unmark this one right now. We want to talk with Honestan. Okay, he's standing somewhere here. They're hiding something. I'm what am I wearing? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sure of it. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? Hmm. What have you been up to? Not a lot. Everyone's got their eye on me. But I'll keep trying. They took the survivors to a, a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Okay. Um, not in those clothes, I won't. Um, I remember this to be not difficult. <laughs> we um, don't get many vault dwellers. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing yeah. the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. I'm going to... How am I going to do this? I don't know what you're talking about. If only that were true. Use your best judgment, friend. Oh, I will. Um... What? I'm kind of playing her as a spy as is so she wouldn't blow her cover like that. Such as it is. Um... They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. You don't say. Now there's the deal. I, um... Um Yeah. <laughs> you know, ammo isn't cheap. Am I? Seriously. Get another day. Um What did I why did I we have a tail. Bye. Oh, almost. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. I'll take it. What Deacon? You do a lot of that. Winning, that is. Deacon? Yeah, you're trying to kill me, aren't you? Oh my god. That was. Where is that ridiculous? Where is the body? <laughs> oh god. Oh god, Deacon, you idiot. He just blew up the body and now it's not anywhere I can see it. <laughs> and I, because I was running away. <laughs> That's the disadvantage of giving them the... Um, the... Um, the <laughs> explosives because they sometimes use them so dumbly sometimes it's okay but occasionally they just mess this up badly um not always i mean most of the time they are pretty actually pretty good at it but sometimes they just fuck up like he did now and then you have to run but i'll deal with that take that because it, 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 these these explosives they do a hell of a lot of damage and and i don't have to carry them and someone has them and i know that they use them so let's add a little bit of um fisherman wait i'm going a to lot check of our people help us once maybe twice that a guy month. out You've jumped right into the deep end. Because I don't know what it, what 
that is about. Hang on. I don't think I've ever found that guy. Again. I'm getting sidetracked. Go find your own fishing spot. Clear out. Hey. Go find your own fishing spot. Clear out. I very much doubt that there are going to be a lot of fish in there. Live ones at least. Wait, let me um nothing to it. Um I don't know if no use in, in sneaking right now because at the moment it doesn't matter. Yet. Maybe. We'll see. There is various ways you can handle this and I think it's very predictable what I'm going to do if you know the quest because yeah, but um What? Yeah. I hate this place. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Okay. Do that. Um Outsiders aren't allowed. Why? Thought I saw What? 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 Okay. <laughs> this is one of those situations where you want to wait when they tell you that yeah. Okay. Been a while. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? I just want answers about Stockton's caravan. Nothing more. I'll take you to see Dr. Chambers. She'll know what to do about you. Don't try anything funny. You've been warned. All right. I'll just follow him. I'll take a tour later. Blythe! Hey, Blythe! I wonder who or what they're protecting. Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes. The interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah. I'm sure. Certainly. Okay, we can now wonder what this was about. Question four was the one where I hesitated, the baseball question. You're the first outsider that's been in here. Hey, extend the platform. Showed up on our doorstep. What was I supposed to do? I wonder if there's a way to get across if I actually get attacked. You shouldn't be in here. Yeah. I'm getting that feeling myself. Welcome to the compound. Now that's a nice uh, attitude. Stranger. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood 
A synth? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. Stockton's daughter is a synth? Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? She has well over a 70% chance of being a synth. I'd have to perform an autopsy, <coughs> to be sure. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you, when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it, or would you do something about it? What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations, the Synths. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden Synths. To root them out, so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? A war, really? Is it that bad? Hundreds of kidnappings over the years. Ask the survivors if it's really that bad. And there are so many other tragedies that may be their responsibility as well. Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? And how do they manage to keep us in the dark? A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm <coughs> the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth. But the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high. Four or five false positives per synth. But one day we hope to get it to one or two false positives. It sounds like your test may not even work. There is a correlation. We've measured it. We just need more data, more test mm -hmm. subjects to narrow it down. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, <laughs> and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on- Covenants a refuge? I have myself a code. Oh. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it, even if I have to kill you to do it. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Or don't. Give us a reason. <laughs> Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. That's a deal I won't accept. Damn straight. Then you'll just have to kill me. Yeah. Um, here's the deal. This so-called... This Dr. James calls herself a scientist. But she has said several things that are so unscientific it's painful for me. Um... What's that noise? I mean... She said there is a correlation, yes. And every 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 rocky scientist uh, in his first semester of studying knows that correlation doesn't equal causation. It doesn't work that way. Simply, where did that guy go? There he is. Um, it's 
it just doesn't it just doesn't work that way. It's not the same thing. Yes, there is a correlation. Fine, fun. That may be as it is, but it doesn't mean that one there is, for example, I'm um, speaking of, of my home country. In my home country now, we have one um, uh, What the hell is going on there at the front? I lost them. Um. I am going to clean up a bit here before I... The intruder! One time. Almost got it. Bye. You're really good at this. I don't want to. I want to do this first. Um... There's one, um... Part of my country where you have a lot of stalks, and th they always come in the, the, that time of the year, in spring. They all and, and a lot of babies are born at the time. So you could say that they bring babies because you could prove that because there is a correlation. There isn't a causation, however. The bloody birds have nothing to do with birth rates, as everyone knows, but the correlation is there. And the disturbing factor, if that's the technical term which I doubt, is spring because, um, yeah, there are the many kids born here in spring and these stupid birds come in spring. So, yeah, of course, it's the same time and they have nothing to do with each other, the two things. It just is, but it isn't related in any manner. Yeah. And the other thing she said I'm going to do that, um, to say that after this. Um, but I have something else to add to this. Um. Here I was wanting to spend the day reading Proust. Sniper and rifle, I have a sniper rifle. Um. Damage. Forty-two. I don't have too much ammo for that one though. That's not even worth picking up, boss. Okay. Stored messages. Three. Retrieval team ready. From Rosalind Chambers to Murney. Until this whole honest and affair is resolved, stand down. The stock and retrieval drew too much attention. Mr. Fitzgerald is furious. We extract the subject 14 so close to Covenant. See, that doesn't happen again. From any to Rosalyn Chambers. Our team's all patched up and ready to grab some synths. Still tracking subject Boyd, but give us the order. Read, Dr. Rogers. Uh, uh, what? Dr. Rogers, right? From Rosalyn Chambers to Tack Blythe. I don't know, need, a, need a degree in socioeconomics to realize Covenant's trade politics are so unsustainable. Um, as soon as we can't afford the subsidies, Mrs. Fitzgerald will increase her prices to attain self-sufficiency. Commercial traffic will slow, but more than traders will visit Covenant now. God, I have a bad cold. Um, from Tag Flight to, to Rosalind Chambers. One of Dr. Rogers' points concerns me. Covenant has, ne has a net operation loss since its inception. Its expenses are staggering. The fusion batteries alone are a priceless sum. Princely sum, sorry. The asset seized from the cashless abstracts in no way makes up this massive deficit. deficit. If we uh, were a business, I'd say we're a couple months away from bankruptcy. Grave concerns from Rosalind Chambers to Emmanuel Rogers. Do you think these objections have not been raised before? But by all means, I propose, propose a viable alternative. But bear this in mind. Fact, we need a large data sample. The larger, the better. Fact, the initial tests is more is most efficient if the subjects are close to their psychological baseline. Whatever that means. Fact, if the Institute gets a single hint of our existence, our mission will be end before it has truly begun. Covenant was designed from the ground up to attract visitors and it is working. Our data pool is increasing at an exponential rate and the subjects take the test voluntarily and unaware. Effectively the test is hiding in plain sight. 
from Emmanuel Rogers to the Rosnan Chambers. Covenant is a mistake. I cannot dispute Dr. Ryan's case for the therapeutic value of the community, but your omission must come first. The wide variety of risks we expose ourselves to is right, outright foolish. My concern should not have been summarily dismissed. This must, th there must be another saner way. Let's unlock the cells. I could probably have picked the locks. Oh, thank goodness, I'm free. Yeah, so this is happening. Hey, talk I to me. I'd never get out of there. I thought I'd never get out of there. Okay. Um, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do... Actually not do that, I want to talk to her because... Because I want to... I want experience for that too. Let's. Yes. Can I sleep? Yes. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Must open some way. What? Nice. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. What happened to you? The men. They dragged me away, always with the needles, questions, and the pain. The stupid, stupid questions over and over. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. I believe you. I just want this nightmare to end. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Please. Let me open my cell. I don't know if I believe her, but I... Yeah, well, uh, well as we know, she might as well be a synth. Um, but as we know, um, a lot of synths don't know that her themselves because they've had this their brains wiped by the railroad's brain vibe wiper. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. What if she's a synth? If even after all they've done to her, they don't know if she's a synth or not? I figure she's human enough. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. You holding out on me? They call me Honest Dan for a reason. That's exactly half of what Stockton agreed to pay me. Not one cap more, not one cap less. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. Is that a minor kind of table? Leave. Test log. Oh, these are these are trouble. Let me move and take a good hard look at this place at large. Um. Yeah. Um. Here's the deal. Uh, something else she said. I hate this place. Yeah, I know. Um. So, this, she said, um, the doctor, Dr. Chambers said, what the clef card? No sign of the camera. Gotta there is something lying around here, I know it is.
Yes. How are the subject vitals? It's a little unsteady, but within. Who, who are you? What? What's... Oh! Son of a bitch! Do that... Oh! I will only say this once. Speak only when spoken. Please continue. The subject is ready for baseline testing. Subject, answer the questions quickly and with what first comes to mind. You're approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Is that... that safe test? Answer the question. I... I... I, I don't know. I don't know science stuff. I... ignore him. Ignore him, you say. Oh, fascinating. I heard something. Is he dead bastard? Hmm. Okay. There are several of these pa tapes lying around. It would be better, but I'm not taking it now because why would I even? Okay. There are several of these tapes hanging around. Yes, Dr. Chambers um, said. A few things that make absolutely no sense from a scientific standpoint. God. That's a lot of bodies, huh? Why didn't I go, huh? I don't know exactly. The thing is she said something else. Um she said if the maniac um um, um th that maniac was the she thought the maniac in Diamond City was a human, but it turned out to be a synth and that is bad. Um I wonder how it is worse because I mean if the maniac had been a human being, would she want to kill all humans? Um it doesn't work it doesn't work like that. This isn't how, how real life works at all. I'm getting lost here, I'm running in circles. Um there was... what? What? Where am I going even? That's the way out, I know that, but I wanted to take a look at... Oh, the still part. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm bad at this finding my way. I'm looking for a specific tape that I found the first time around. And that I don't know where it is now. But an infamous question for... Maybe it was in the room where we were with Amelia. see it. I don't see it. It wouldn't be anywhere here, but never mind. Maybe I'm maybe I'm going to find it on my way out. Not not it's just um another recording like the one that we did find with people um yeah you know talking to that subject twelve and yeah in talking is one way to put it. Interviewing grilling is more Anything like it. Anything interesting on him? Ah, that's the turret. I knew there was a turret and I wondered where it was, but it's here and it's already broken. Yeah, let's just try and find a way out. 
Um. Yeah, it's a covenant. Um. This is not the way. This is not the way either. This must be the way out. Um. And she, this, this, this as in, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense at all to. Does that shoot me? Probably. What just happened? We're back in business. Yeah, you're really good at this. Oh. Oh. Is not letting this happen. New business model. We team up with a mortuary. See, that's why he gets. You see where I'm going with this, right? The grenades. Um, this is where we started. That means the other, the other path, the one to the left that we didn't take, where we took off here, um, was something else. No, am I confused now? Yes, I'm confused now. What? Like here, I think. No. I've been everywhere! I have been everywhere and I didn't find that tape. Never mind, it just... it doesn't say much, it's just... Really, um... More grilling and about this question, a baseball question, and that guy's getting really anxious and I'd really like to find that. Let me, let me just hold there and uh, if I find it, it's good and yeah. If not, then I'll cut straight back to here before I get out. I'm going to try something real quick. <coughs> ha! <laughs> okay, that's one way to deal with it. How did I open that? Because I had no idea I could just bomb them open. Maybe maybe last time I did this deacon did it by accident or something? Because I sure as hell had no idea I could do that. Here is the tape. We'll listen to that the next time. This was the Vagehind Red in Fallout 4. Bye-bye.